a 10 thou orifice at 40,000 psi at 1,000 feet a minute. Go, Steve. Oh, that looked awesome. G'day, this is Greg Butler, Research and Development Manager for the South Australian No-Till Farms Association and in conjunction with Conservation Agricultural Australia and support from the Australian Government's National Land Care Program, we've been deploying Flow International's ultra-high pressure water jet cutters to an all-new innovative application for conservation agriculture. Aquatil, which is a liquid coulter that uses ultra-high pressure fertiliser as a cutting media to cut through unprecedented amount of stubbles, in knife point, discs, and all new sewing systems. Double retention is very important to us. Uh, in, uh, it's, a, it's a constant battle. Uh, high stubble loads do cause you a lot of problems. What's your first impression of the water jet? Uh, very impressed. Uh, the the, uh, the results are, are obvious straight away. Eight tonne to the hectare wheat crop last year and uh, we've cut through uh, uh, windrows that we've, we've got up, uh, bailed up here for windrow burning uh, without any drama at all. Come out today to see the uh, the water jet products uh, yes. um, and what did you think of the liquid coulter? Um, I, I love the idea, I think it's a great concept and uh, I can certainly see it being applied to um, disc seeding which is something we do at the moment um, or, and also other, other, other seeding like time, time machines but uh, we're certainly interested in the disc machine and Um, I was very impressed with its capability of actually slicing through uh, heavy trash. Look, looking at the soil and, and the difference between the uh, the tine without the water jet and the tine with the water jet, did you see any differences there? Oh yes, big difference. Big difference. Find out some of your first impressions. Very interesting piece of equipment. I think the yeah, the opportunity to cut. Uh, heavy stubble loads, um, very interesting, and the fact that we could also double that up with a fertiliser application as well, um, making it a dual purpose operation, I think is yeah, very attractive. So it's all the time, some smearing com and compaction from the time, whereas where the water jet had been, uh, the soil was sort of nice, loose and friable, so in terms of um, plant establishment and root, root growth, I think it's, um, yeah, it seems to be a much better media anyway for, for plant growth. Working on a PhD on bent leg seeding openers and the idea is to uh, increase the seeding speed of time machines and also to reduce soil disturbance. And today was the first time you've ever seen a high pressure water jet in a field situation? Uh, yes it was. Okay and uh, what was your first impressions? Oh yeah, it, it has a lot of potential to um, increase the residue handling with time machines and also might have some other applications such as um, minimising soil throw and also creates a, seems to create a clear canvas for some new opportunities in planting technology. We manufacture and distribute the um, NDF disc seeders that we build um, Australia-wide. You've seen a little bit of the water jet, what's your first impressions? First impressions is that it's um, definitely a very interesting concept, um, I can see that uh, there would be situations where it would be applicable on a disc seeder, probably more so on time machines, but I still see there would be an application to design the final product. I hope you've enjoyed some truly innovative conservation agriculture. There's still a long way to go to prove it out at commercial scale, but to this point I'd truly like to thank the National Land Care Program for their generous support, and in particular Jeff Martell from Flow Water Jets and Andrew Bird from Sanfa. And of course, all the farmers that have hosted or attended one of our water jet field days.